All right. Got um, a twig pot here, and I left a lot of natural texture in here, so you can't tell, but there's some like, almost like wood, wood that I had not got with a knife, so it's actually pretty um, ripply, like I guess almost live edge-esque type wood, and then the rest is pretty faceted. I'm gonna try starting with burnishing with a stone, um, and then we'll go from there. Who knows, it might just switch to sanding, but I wanna start with a stone see what happens. Burnishing was recommended to me by a good amount of people and I haven't really found a niche yet, a niche where burnishing seems to be the thing. So I don't know, maybe cook pots is it. I'm not getting anything out of this to tell you the truth. Just started and I didn't know paint's coming off so I'm just a little concerned. This might not be the, this might not be the place that burnishing shines. Well, I'm getting some facets. Oh, do I keep going with burnishing? It just seems so sad and slow. I think I'm going to switch to. I just don't think anything's happening. That's honestly why. Like, I, I guess the facets are coming out. So tempted to switch right now, but also so curious to see if anything good. happening from this. I think this green paint definitely is tougher than the blue paint. Burnish something um, in the blue paint, um, for, like the twig pots, uh, there's a spoon you probably can see it in another video if I upload it, and uh, pretty much removed all the paint. So that's not happening with this. So let's see. Right away you can see those facets just popping out. And this one has some nice big facets, so that's part of the reason I couldn't. Part of the reason I couldn't finish it with uh, burnishing is I know there's so much, so many good facets underneath to show off. So who knows? Maybe people mean sand then burnish. here the front is where you can see it's textured it's like what part of the wood had just ripped and I really I decided to leave it in um, I thought it'd be a cool cool experience so let's sand over the front and see what happens natural
Make sure we get an even stand all the way down to the base on all sides. All the way to the top. That's this twig pot. Um, I think the green will be easier to see. You can see I hit it with a dampened rag and got a lot of cool, very bold facets going on. I think this front part is going to be interesting. I'm very tempted to keep going, but I think I'm just going to do a quick go around with the 1000 grits. And call this one done because it looks looks great for what it is, right? All right, it'd definitely be cool to see with the oil. I think there might be a, one facet hiding here. Yeah. All right, am I wrong? There we go. It's gonna fade. That's that one. Very cool. Gonna hit it with some oil soon. <laughs> 